Okay, good morning. My name is Jake Atwood. I'm the captain for the Long Beach Fire Department. Um, as you guys can see, we're uh, here with our two new uh, ladder trucks, Truck 11 and Truck 17. Uh, these two will be additions to um, our uh, TDA fleet. Um, they're replacements for uh, two of our older rigs that we're retiring. Um, some of the unique f uh, features of these rigs uh, we have because of um, facility issues in California, um, this rig is only 55 feet 2 inches and it's 11 feet 1 inch high. So uh, um, both of these rigs are going to serve areas that are very uh, old in nature and they have uh, smaller facilities. Each facility is less than 59 feet long total from door to door at our fire stations. So as you can see we've made uh, incremental changes um, to this spec. Uh, um, this spec is 14 inches shorter than our last uh, TDA that we bought from Pierce uh, two years ago. Our option, we have a 102 foot ascendant aerial. Um, we utilize that again for trailer length. We can't make the vehicle 55 feet long if we put 107 foot. So we have a 102 foot ascendant uh, uh, ladder on here. Um, some of the unique things that, uh, that we've done um, with the Aero XTs, as you guys can see, um, we've made uh, on some of our instrument panels we went with the multiplex with the rocker switches red indicates uh, it's on the generator side black indicates that it's on the 12 volt side that's important for our operators back in California to understand which side of the uh, what side of the electronics that they're on uh, another unique thing that we do that's different is we utilize uh, red lighting instead of white lighting when the doors are open for nighttime operations uh, when our guys are operating at structure fires or at uh, um, at vehicle accidents, especially on like the freeway. Um, some one of the changes that we did this, this year, um, as you guys can see in the back, uh, we went with different seat, uh, seating options. These seating, we used to have Bostrom seats. We went with the MSSAs, um, bottles in the seats, the captain, the two firefighters in the back seat, and then the tillerman all have uh, SCBA bottles that are in their rear facing inertia based. And then our day-to-day -day riding, our firefighters will sit in the, in the jump seats that fold down. Um, some of the tool mounting that we'll do, we'll do in California. We don't necessarily do here, just for ease of, uh, ease of mounting. What we do on these is we utilize um, major mounting in Wisconsin, and then we do in, in individual tool mounting when we're in, uh, in South Coast in Ontario, California. As you guys can see on this side, so our ladder trucks are set up all identical. This is uh, what we would consider our, um, this is our extrication side. All of our extrication tools will go on the driver's side of the vehicle. This is where we'll put all of our rescue 42s, our high lift jacks, our cable come alongs, our airbags will sit here, all of our chains. Um, our hydraulic, we have a, um, a slide out compartment that we'll utilize for our hydraulic Hurst equipment. And then in this compartment, we'll utilize this. This will end up being a 500 pound pull out tray that we will put our uh, e-draulic or our electronic hydraulic uh, or electronic um, Hurst equipment in there. So um, kind of a unique side as you look at the this side of the vehicle. Um, Obviously, our uh, our rick equipment will go in here. Our electronics, we have electronics wiring in here, and this is for uh, for ease of charging of our batteries. We have our battery side for all of our um, all of our battery operated tools. We'll have a charging station that we will have with a shelf that will be built in, so um, all of our stuff can either be uh, charged off of shore power or it can be charged off of um, generator power while the vehicle is on scene of an emergency. So the back, uh, obviously you guys can see we, we utilize the NFPA compliance for our ladders and our, our pike poles. We don't do anything um, too extreme. Ladders will be shipped loose in here. Uh, the 35s will be supplied in California. Um, one major side scene light in the back. We use our backup camera. Um, this is a pretty standard option for us. Um, our tiller cab uh, again is uh, very standardized. We put a block on ours, so we have a, a four inch raise on our seat. So our seats sit a little higher. 
we utilize the the ladder cradle we brought this down so it gives maximum visibility for our uh, our firefighters in the back with the 360 cameras that were installed we put two camera heads uh, display screens on each side of the top of the tiller cab so it gives our operators in the back obviously the ability to see visually down but it also gives them the ability to see tight corners um, we utilize a couple different things or the, the cameras will always be on that system is active at all times when the vehicles in motion but it also we have we defaulted our uh, tiller cornering lights in with the brake interlock so at nighttime not only do they have a camera but they have lighting that's always illuminating so we're giving our firefighters uh, the ability to make sure that they're always in a good spot to avoid collisions when they're driving not only to emergencies but back from the emergencies at night. Um, everything else in the in the tiller cab is usually uh, has been standardized. Um, we did give the air conditioning options on this. It is a generator driven air conditioner, so that's uh, that'll be new for us. The other thing that we did is we have uh, two USB ports in the back, obviously for um, any type of charging ideas or uh, availability to our operators back here for long periods of time. So as we transition from obviously the tiller cab coming back down, this is where the tillerman's uh, personal protective equipment, all of his loose equipment will go. And then obviously we have a charging station down here for his lighting. So um, in here, obviously when we get to California. Again, the SCBA mount will be put here. Um, we'll have hooks put up here for his, his uh, brush coat, his turnout coat. And then all these things will have his helmet, his uh, other loose equipment that he has. So this is really, this, this whole compartment was dedicated to the rear firefighter and the tillerman. And then at, obviously as we start to move forward, again, we, uh, we utilize a couple different things um, that are kind of unique to the city of Long Beach. That's, um, we have a built-in uh, 24 hole uh, SCBA uh, mount so we can put our 45 minute bottles in here. Uh, this part right here, we'll put some of uh, our high-rise hose pack stuff for them, and then we will build individual compartments on this side um, when we get to California as needed. So you'll see um, a lot of practicality with this. We don't need to carry an excess amount of SCBA bottles. So we can put them all right here. And then as we come back around, you'll notice the back end of this so we talked about on the other end was all the rescue 42s and all of our extrication stuff this will be all the ventilation stuff we'll take these these will all get cut and what we'll put is our rubbish hooks going forward we'll put all of our loose tools on this end our chainsaws will be uh will be mounted here our partner saws will be mounted here and then obviously our forceful entry tools will be put, put down here so this side really becomes like the ventilation and the um it's the ventilation and the forceful entry side of the firefighting end of our ladder truck operations in California. Um, and then obviously as we come back over here, you'll start to see um, loose tools, EMS equipment can go on this side, our cab tilts on this side. We, a standard, op, uh, or a standard feature for us with the Aero XTs. And then obviously this is um, the officer side and the, and the number one firefighter side and it's just the pull through. So um, all of our electronics we, we choose to do in California as well. So this vehicle will be shipped without the, the computers, the radios, the headsets, all those things will be done um, in California. Obviously our aerial controls are pretty standardized. Um, we did put uh, the generator, we have an Onan 15,000 watt generator on here. Our cord reels will be mounted here on the side. So one of the things that's unique about this, when you, when you uh, consider putting this type of aerial on this type of vehicle is we have to do, uh, you have to make sure that it's in an uh, uh, avoidance collision um, and all those things are uh, addressed prior, uh, prior to the specking of it. Uh, one, of the, um, one of the things that's unique about this, uh, this aerial ladder is, is on it is we have six uh, Pioneer, uh, micro mini Pioneers uh, that are on the 12 volt side of the, 12 volt side of the apparatus. Uh, we went to this instead of the big, um, the big Pioneer similar to this one on the tip just for um, ease of use and damage to the, um, to the accessories when we go to structure fires. Obviously now uh, it makes the profile of the aerial device um, easier for our operators to, um, to utilize. And then obviously we have standardized lighting uh, inside 
um, inside the aerial, but we went with one color. We went with red at night, so it's easier for not only the firefighters climbing the aerial, but for um, our uh, operators. So we don't go with the white lighting or a blue lighting just for the mere fact of its ease of use. Um, we utilize the standardized uh, anchor points that Pierce provides. Pierce will provide these two anchor points on the side. However, we added anchor points um, to our aerial devices, and this is for any type of rope rescues that you might have to do over the side, uh, litter pickoffs, um, things that you would have to utilize in your agency. So if this aerial is set to an angle that's off or down and where you can't utilize side uh, side anchor points. These anchor points will rotate with the with the ladder. So if the device is in a different position where you can't utilize these, we have side anchor points on each side, and then we we can run our rope system right down the bottom part of um, bottom part of the aerial. And also, as you can tell, uh, we don't do a pre plumbed. We do uh, we do a um, portable waterway, and all of our portable waterway, our ladder pipe will be set in here, 100 feet of uh, three inch. We'll be in here and then we will loose mount our um, appliances at the at the end of the aerial on the deck of the diamond plate uh, the city of long beach we chose to go with the whalen uh, lighting package it's very basic it's uh the simpler the better sometimes we have a the freedom for um whalen uh normal light bar in the front and then we have two mini bars on the side um, we utilize uh three different types of lights um, that surround the vehicle. It's either an M4, a Whalen M4, a Whalen M6, or the Whalen BT6 in the rear with the top rotating light. Um, these maximize uh, side lighting and a rear and front facing. Obviously, uh, we go with a minimum of four lights down the side, plus the mini bars on the top. So all three of our zones, our, our high zone, our mid zone, our low zone are all covered. Um, we utilize red and yellow lighting in the back to maximize the breakup of the patterns um, and to help avoidance and collisions on the freeways in California. And then obviously we would like to thank, uh, thank Pierce and uh, everybody for allowing us to come out and, and tour the great facility and, and obviously uh, to produce uh, what we feel is a very top quality product.